Hi everybody, it's Tuesday, December 14th. Let's take a couple first questions. Uh, Bex58 writes, do you think the Stark Treaty will be ratified before year's end? What are the implications if it's not passed? I do and the President believes that the Stark Treaty will be ratified by the Senate before Congress leaves town at the end of the year. Uh, the Senate is likely to take up the Stark Treaty as soon as it finishes uh, with debate on the tax bill uh, over the course of the next day or so. Uh, most senators have come out and expressed uh, their support for it and putting it over the 67 vote threshold. So if we can get to the treaty, there's no doubt we can pass the treaty. The implications if we don't pass it are several. One, we won't see that reduction in deployed nuclear weapons that each, uh, each country, Russia and the United States, has currently pointed at each other. Secondly, since the START, the old START treaty uh, expired, we do not have a verification mechanism which allows us to see what is going on inside the Russian nuclear stockpile and the Russian nuclear program. So without a START treaty in place, we lack a verification regime to understand what they may or may not be doing. And lastly, there's no doubt that it has uh, an implication on our ability to reset our relationships in the world and particularly our very important relationship with Russia. Ryan Thompson writes, does the White House think that bipartisan politics are possible after seeing Congress unite to extend tax cuts? Thanks for the question, Ryan. I'd say a couple of things. One, obviously we've got a couple of hurdles left to go uh, before the agreement gets to the President's desk uh, and we extend middle class tax cuts uh, for the next two years. But I do think the President is heartened that both sides of the political spectrum, Democrats and Republicans, have come together, uh, sat around a table and talked about what uh, they'd like to see as part of an agreement, and we've taken some concrete steps to move that agreement forward. That's what we need to have happen in Washington, particularly in a Washington that's partly controlled by Republicans and partly controlled by Democrats, if we're going to make significant progress on the issues that concern the American people the most. Thanks.